So for the first question here, key things to take note is for every 1000 meters, okay, the temperature will decrease by 6.5. And from 2000 to 6000, there's 4000 meters difference. Hence, I took negative 6.5 times 4 equals to negative 26 Celsius. So from 10 Celsius, minus 26 celsius your final results will be negative 16 celsius question 2 pretty straightforward all you need to do is to key in the entire thing into the calculator then you should get the answer as 23 over 27 whereby for question 3 how many plane of symmetry does this cube board have is actually three okay attached is a sample of it to support the answer whereby for the next part write down the rotational symmetry of the following diagram the results will be four because for every single 90 degree i turn okay they will place themselves back into the original shape Hence, your rotational symmetry results will be 4. Whereby for question 4, first I change the 1 and 2 into mixed number. Okay, then only I proceed with the calculation. Okay, and attach is the working. You can just refer to it and get the final results. But for part 5, okay, this is actually using the a square minus b square formula. Okay, so your a here is actually a to the power of 1 over 2, whereby for b is actually b to the power of 1 over 2. Square them both, your final results will be a minus b. For question 6, Okay, so first thing that I identified was the major sector of COA, which is 216. Reason being, angle from the center is twice the value of angle at the circumference. Okay, and work out the obtuse angle of AOC, okay, which means it is the minor sector they are referring to so i took 360 minus 216 you get 144 okay so key things to take note obtuse angles means less than 180 but more than 90. for next question question seven all I did was to take 768 buck, divide by 48, then I will convert it into 16 pound. Question 8, pretty straightforward as well. Keyword here is the compound interest. So I took 500 times 102.8% to the power of 3. So your final results will be as attached. Question 9, first thing first, I change the denominator of the variables at the left hand side into the same, okay, which is 15. Then I took the 15, multiply by 2 to get to 30, run the calculation. So your final results will be x less than equals to 39. But for question 10, okay, first thing first, I found the rounding value, okay, corrected to nearest liter means it is referring to 1 liter. So 1 divided by 2, which is plus minus 0 0.5 liters. But for the next one, okay, glass holding 0 0.3 liters, corrected to nearest 0 0.1. So I took 0 0.1 divided by 2. I get plus minus 0 0.05. Can 
Okay, so for you to get to the lower bound, okay, your numerator must be smaller and your denominator must be bigger. Then when you run the calculation, you can get this smallest possible outcome. So your final results will actually be 70 bottles. Question 11, the keyword here is inverse. Okay, so R equals to K over D square. Okay, the K here is actually the scale factor that we are trying to identify. So K after the calculation is equivalent to 40. Then substitute your D equals to 4 into it. Then you'll get your final results as 2.5. But for question 12, they given you the radius of the vehicle circle is 6 and the smaller one is 0 0.5. So large minus the small one, you will get your final results as 112. Question 13, okay, for this is actually the 2 times 2 matrix formula. You can actually get the full list of it at my Instagram account so the link will be in the description but for question 14 okay so you're required to identify the value of x angle so x over 360 times 2 pi r equals to 8 okay because they are they given you the arc length of a b as 8 cm so after you run the calculation you shouldn't be having an issue to identify that x equals to 114.59 but for question 15 okay distance equals to speed times time so bus area equals to the shape, the base of it is 60 times the height is 14, then times half because it is a triangle. Whereby for Hamid's distance, okay, traveling at a 4 meter per second, after 60 seconds, it is 240 meters only. Hence, the difference is 180. Question 16, okay, I have already list down the full details of the calculation. You can just refer to it and get the answer. Question 17. So first thing that I drew the locus of point which are equal distance from A and B. Okay, I draw a perpendicular line at the center. Okay. Then locus of point which are 4 cm away from C. So I measured 4 cm from my ruler and from point C I drew a full circle. Okay, the last part which is to shade it out. Nearer to B than to A, which means it's referring to the right hand side, and less than 4 cm from C. So the intersection will be what the question is requesting for. So you are required to shade that part off. For question 18, find the probability that an egg is chosen is graded very large. So those who are in very large category will be 54 plus 30 and over the 300 eggs. So your final results will be 28% or 7 over 25. So for the next part, median, so 300 times 50%, which means you are required to identify the value of 150. Okay, so from 150, I drew it down, I get the results as 62. But then for the lower quarter, so 300 times 25% equals to 75th. Okay, so from 75th, I drew it down, I get the results of 52. For the third part, I define the into quarter range at 75%. My results will be 225. I drew it down, I get a value of 
minus it with the lower quartile results of 52, you will get your results as 19.5. So for part 4, I drew up from 65 gram. Okay, I get the results as 175. So they are asking for those who are greater than 65. So I took 300, which is a total, minus 175. I get the results as 125. For question 19, so this is actually the matrix question. Actually list down the full details of the calculation. You can just refer to it and sort it out step by step. Whereby for question 20, okay, write down the value of f inverse x equals to 2. So first step is to identify what's the f inverse first. So I have a three-step methods here. First is to change the fx into y. Second step, swap them. Okay. Third step is to identify the new y. So the new y here will actually be the inverse. So x minus 4 over 4 equals to 2. Run the calculation, you get x equals to 12. Whereby for b, I change the gx into the value it carries, which is x cubed over 2 minus 1. Then substitute this x cubed over 2 minus 1 into fx x position okay so after i run the calculation i get my final results as 2x squared part c pretty straightforward i just repeat the same thing i did to section a earlier the same three step then you should be able to identify your answer as cube root of 2 bracket x plus 1 For the last question, okay, rotate your triangle, PQR by 90 degree, okay, so I label it as P1, Q1, and R1. Okay, and when y equals to negative x, okay, this one is actually the line I drew over there. So when they reflect, it looks at the shape over there. So describe fully a transformation where PQR equals to P double image, Q double image, and R double image. So it is a reflection from the line y equals to zero, or you can name y equals to zero as x axis. So this will be it for this particular set. I hope you find it helpful. Do share it to your friends that are struggling to solve all this past year. And I wish you all the best for your upcoming examination. Thank you.